Greetings little mortals, I apologize for nothing on the previous post, you people have been going full blast with this defamation and I saved the best for last. The reason I know Hoyovers did not properly investigate the incident. Now I want you to pause if any of these terms sound familiar and think for a few, why would I save this for last because it was the source of the bad choice Hoyovers made in this matter. This was the ultimate bad call, trusting the Twitter user whose entire history is just attacking men. A Google document with three stories but no names, no records, the times that are listed are funny because the victims are traumatized. Oh but you can't call them I have to get you in contact with them. Synthesizers? Oh don't worry they just want to remain anonymous I assure you there are police reports. I can't send you the links because of the nature of the crimes but I can guarantee you he will be arrested soon. The fans will get over it it's better if you cancel him now. Believe me now this is 100% the same garbage they did to Vic and it was found in discovery that that Google document was filled with fraudulent statements. When the lawyers contacted the supposed victims they all had the same story. They wanted to take pictures with Vic, none of them found it creepy or inappropriate. They all pointed to the accuser and were not very happy. It turns out the false accusers had put their names on that document but I can assure you the false accusers changed their ways, they got worse about how they do this. I can assure you the people you talked to were AIs or co-conspirators. Was one of them a pair of twins? Yeah they made an appearance in the Vic documents. How about the prostitute that knows Todd? Should we tell Elliot to call Ty Beard? Their tactics never change the tools they use do. Now they have deep fakes and access to a known gender terrorist Jamie Markey who is herself a voice actress. I would say if one of Elliot's friends ever sees this specific one in the series yes tell him to call Ty Beard. Get a recommendation and sue. 100% Hoyovers wrongful termination based off their known history they did not do their due diligence in cross-checking any of the information the Twitter user provided. 100% the documents are fabricated. 100% what they did was defamation damages have occurred. Lastly 100% the VA will likely not be recoverable after all who would want to work in a den of snakes who believe blindly false lies. And not just any lies a list of so many current buzzword salad lies from random people. A document with no names and no collaborative evidence outside the false accuser. How this one got past anyone who has seen or heard of the Vic case is beyond me. Though I can say I am not surprised, hypocrites do run in the anime commentary community. Vic is in the voice of Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, Crow from Ruby, Browley from the DBZ movie. The man these monsters targeted before Elliot was too big to take down, but they did this exact garbage before and it was all recorded. Again if Hoyovers was serious about this they would have done better in discovering what the Twitter user really was was a scam. A scam specifically designed to remove men that they do not like from the industry. Riki Atala was correct when he said Vic was ground zero for this. Perhaps he can help get the word out about this atrocity. They improved the way they target their victims. They need to be stopped.